Hello everyone, I'm the Kremlin Archer and welcome to a Kickstarter demo for a long journey to an uncertain end. This game, as I said, Kickstarter demo launched, I think that about the same time as this video went live. The Kickstarter should have gone live. Um, they sent me this demo so I could check it out and I'm excited. I've been following it since it was announced about a month ago. It's a game where you play as the actual ship. You're the sentient sit, the sentient sip ship. That's hard to say. <laughs> I don't don't think I was successful. And you kind of move your crew around the the universe, doing weird jobs, odd jobs, and such. So let's jump into it and see what's up. As I said, this is a Kickstarter demo, so it's very early on. So basically everything could change. But this at least gives you a taste of what the game is going to be like. In a small passage of copper circuits, there's a sudden spark. Dust kips, kicks up as the current slowly builds. Voltage pulses faster and faster. Transistors, resistors, and then life. Unknown. A machine? You, the sensation courses throughout your body. Up, down, over, under. Appendages consisting of wires and cables. Twisting and turning in the rivers of conduction. Steel, carbon, silicon. That's my body? Every query, millions of routines and subroutines boot up to try and move. Phantom limbs, flaps, rudders, gears, turning. Try to see. Lights, rows, columns of beam, beaming light, diodes, flashing. You see. You can see. Am I alive? Not yet. You're missing parts. Parts not carefully disconnected, but ripped out. Someone did this. Am I alone? Scanning. No, there's something. Something's moving in you. You're being rearranged, repaired, sensors return online, your hearing re your hearing returns, a voice calling, speaking, barking? 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 Corgi, oh dear, they really messed you up this time, do you remember me? I'm Corgi. It's okay, we're gonna get you out of here. Well, you're actually getting us out of here. What? Uh, gibberish. But by getting us out, you're also, you know what, that doesn't matter. Do you at least have a, do you at least remember your name? Do, can I fit all of my name? I can, okay. Can I space it? I can. All right, my name is Crumbling the Archer. Ooh, pronouns. Uh, well, I'll just do these, it's fine. Oh, you're doing great. Okay, double check. Does this look right? Yes, that's fine. Yeah, we got that. Do you remember what you look? Do you remember what you look like? I uh, oh, I can make my own body. That's kind of fun. I was not expecting this <laughs> since I was knew I was gonna be a ship. I was not expecting to be a actually have a a real body. We're not gonna not gonna spend a ton of time on this because you know just demo version. I need real thick eyebrows. Yeah, this is no. There you go. There's some real thick ones. Real thick eyebrows. Facial hair, sure. A little, little scruff. Nah. Full Riker beard. That sounds better. No hair. Mummy wrap sounds good. Let's go with this one. Shoes. There you go. There I am. Let's go with that. I do now. I knew you could do it. It's so good to see your beautiful face. Okay, last thing. I'm sorry, but we need to check your memory. It's about your uh, ex. My ex? Yes, the one who left you like this when you tried to leave. Do you remember the ex's name? <laughs> Butt face. <laughs> um, Jerkson. <laughs> uh, they, them, why not? Alright. Let's get out of here. Alright. Need to hurry up. We don't have a lot of time. We need to hack the controls to escape. Press any key to continue. Where's the any key? View job. 
Job list is the job list jobs list out a description how long they should take and other details. This is the perfect this is perfect for Leah, so assign her. Okay, so this is Ayla, that's probably actually Ayla. Ayla Tress. Okay. Ah, oh, look at you. Alright, sign crew. Oh, look at her go. She's tiny. Take the crew time to complete the job. We can pass time here. Click on the pass time button. Okay. Sometimes you'll have a choice on your jobs. Tell Ayla what you would like her to do. Select either job, then press the back button. Okay. Cut the red wire or the blue wire? Uh, red wire. Cutting now. Time to get out of here. See the results of a job hit ready. So, obviously we'll see this later, but this is our name, our crew take off, 9 days remaining, 30 supplies, 50 out of 100 of something, 4 fuel, 3 minor favors, 0 major favors. We're apparently, I guess, good people right now. Okay. Looks like the job is done. Let's see how your crew did. Ooh, that doesn't look good. Now you're 19. But oh, sometimes jobs don't go to plan. Luckily, we have favors we can call in. Alright, call in a favor. Good. Alright, I wonder if that just re rolls or if you uh, actually affects the outcomes. One more job done. Quick takeoff. Takeoff. Fuel power returning. Are you out? For how long? System reboot, reconfigure, until you pick up a concerned voice to regain your hologram. Form only to see Ayla tapping her foot, arms crossed. Hey, hey, are you listening? Listening? I suppose that answers the question. I tried communication, communicating with you over and over. Your hologram was off. And you didn't respond. Thought you might have had a screw loose, or worse. Where are we? Well, that's what we need to talk about urgently. Why the urgency? Ironically, caution. For now, we're fine on fuel and supplies. It's the extra attention we want to keep at arm's length, and we need to start taking some steps just to do that. Okay. So where are we? Off a hyperway between between Iridia and Matu. Trying not to be seen. We've come a long way, kid. Staying unseen is how we keep it that way. Okay, where do we go? Find a place to hide. There's a small system not too far from here. Spacer's Folly, small town, planet, farmers, craftspeople. Is it safe? It's quiet. Quiet's what we need. I say we land, keep our heads down, restock, make a plan, take it from there. That right, sounds good. Agreed. You set course and I'll go tell the rest of the crew. You got it. Alright, so there's the crew. Corgi, Ayla, Denny, Teus, Truly, Zeke. Oh, I can talk? Just talk to them? Oi, Captain, what's on your mind? Who are you? A comprehensive operational response graphical interface, but you can call me Corgi. What do you do? I keep the minutia of the sp ship running so you don't you can focus on important stuff. Okay. That's all. Um I want to talk to this guy or person. Truly. Hey, what's up? How do we know each other? I was jet setting with this beautiful young lady from Exordic Exordica. When she was dropping me planet side and took off in a hurry. Sometimes something about a jealous boy boyfriend. Who knows? Sounds rough. Ah, well, it was fun like it lasted. You were the closest ship, so I hopped aboard. Just my luck finding the only ship in the verse that doesn't need a pilot. <laughs> Alright, that's it. Oop. I don't really want to talk to you right now. Alright, let's go back. So this is Spacer's Folly. Harmony. Matu. Let's stick to going where we said we were going to go. Would you like to travel? Yes. Oh, hey, you're doing good. Thank you. Oh, okay. <laughs> That's fun. I wonder why the days remaining is going up. <laughs> usually that's the kind of thing that counts down.
The desolate landscape feels gritty under my landing pads. Hopefully the dust doesn't clog my intake valves. The dock manager mentions the locals enjoy their monthly market, so maybe my crew can find jobs there. Ayla was right, this place is quiet, the inhabitants friendly, so we ought to be able to stay low and stay out of trouble. Maybe we'll, maybe this will be the break we've been hoping for. All right, so we got some jobs. Local store, what is, I wonder what these, I guess we'll learn what these symbols are over time. Good job. Say, any of you folks able to help an old timer remove his, their inventory? My family's been weaving baskets on this dust hole for generations, and while not a lot of them, they ain't heavy. They, uh, baskets, that is. I'm sure some sturdy off-worlders can handle it. Alright, you. Do that job. Alright. Dang, wild bugs! Keep trampling on our crops. Now this newfangled electro fencing. It's got more loose screws than Uncle Varnick. There's a home cooked meal, as well as transport to the homestead if any of you care crew to install things. Alright. Alright. Go do that. I imagine we don't have to do all of these, but but why not? Lenny. Name's Lenny. Like the one on the sign. Got potatoes out of my ears. And a peeler on the fritz. Literally, somebody's just going to peel potatoes. Okay. Joy. Uh, sell my goods. Alright, it looks kind of like everybody is just kind of good at the things that are an option here. Alright, go. Cool. <laughs> Alright. Just hire out my entire crew. I guess we passed time. Kim brings some of the town guard to a pile of crates near his ship and motions Denny to join them. These fastidious gentlemen feel they are discrepancies in my wares. I told them I would be happy to help ar us arrive at a solution. Talk up the merchant's goods. Well, we've never had a better trade for such high quality goods than th from this merchant here. You'd be a fool not to let him in. Halfway through setting up the fence, the farmer realizes they're going to have to reduce the size of their field to fit the fence's radius. Well, we've got the posts up, but the signal doesn't seem strong enough to connect. What do y'all think? Upgrade the fence's wireless range. There you go. We can squeeze a little more juice out of this. Here, let me just bypass these safety blockers. Okay. Old craftsperson is hunched over their half-made basket, surrounded by piles of finished work. Their experience and skill is evident in every fold and turn of the wicker. Without turning their eyes away from their work, they speak up. I oh, still have to finish this last batch. Be a doll and take these finished ones to market, will ya? So these are clearly like people's skills give them special options. As you can see, the, the grab as many as possible or talk to some locals to help you. So that's kind of cool. Industrial sized peeler has a mass of sparkling wires hanging out the side. Let's control. Center the cable soon plugged into potato into potatoes. I uh, yeah, tried to fix it myself. I think it went pretty well. Maybe. Anyways, what would you do to fix this so I can uh, make sure it's the same thing I would do? I like your, I like this person's robot arm. Why the main control center? Oh, that's not. Is that not an option? I can't click on it. Okay, read the owner's manual. Nothing bad ever came from reading the instructions, right? Right, this one's finished, so... Oh, a fail. Got everything all mixed around and broken. You're just as useless as those, these remedies. Let's call in a favor for it. Probably not the best use of our favor. Another fail, okay. Alright, we'll accept the failure. It's not a great use of our... our uh, favor. Guards escort Kim to a fresh stall and help set up the goods. Must think that you fellow travelers, your glowing recommendation is established, it's embellished, it's a little embellished for my taste. One over the guards. Let me know if there's ever something I can help you with. Alright, so acknowledge their offer. Glad we could help. Fence hum then roars to life. Angry sparks warn everyone to stay back. Ooh-wee! You were smarter than you looked. That should keep them critters off our crops. Here, take some crops. Alright, thank you.
All right, we moved the things. Oh, we can optimize. Oh, we can't because we don't have the skill. We could optimize the display. Let's keep it simple. Oddly, page 384 actually recommends the cables and potatoes. There's still some wires hanging out in a pile of bolts. Zeke doesn't remember being there before. The machine is now sputtering out mostly peeled potatoes. Wow, look, just like uh, when I did it. Wait, I don't know what I'm doing. <laughs> Let's turn it off and on. It always works. It's all mechanic do this. Works every time. All right, we got some readies here. Ready? We did okay. All right. Got some fuel and whatever that is. Plus one that thing. Oh, that was a favor. Again, we got a favor. Mm, let's let's try a favor here. Man, these favors are not not working out for us. Good, excellent. Got stuff. There's another job here. I guess because we failed? Eh, whatever. Gathers all the bas baskets, making sure they fit well in the rest of the stalls. In the market, the vendor gives a welcoming look, appreciative of the modest nature of the stall. Alright, just keep the prices competitive. Yay! I guess they like us better? That's what this 10? 10, 10 hearts? Like liking us better? Alright. Captain, we've intercepted this you might find interesting. Good news? Message isn't it the message itself isn't, but the fact that we intercepted it is. Okay, tell me. All points bulletin going out. I couldn't trace the source exactly, but it's only a matter of time before your signature and our faces are plastered all of the all over the system. Got it. What now? You're the captain. What do you think? Alright. our status. Currently stocked, but more is always better. Based on what I was able to piece together from the intercepted message, I'd estimate it's safe here for a few more days at most. So we have some time. Think if necessary, yes. Where can we go? Must be something. Small station a few days from here. It's a shipping post. Ships come and go all the time. Okay, what's it called? Harmony? Sounds quiet. It's possible for a few days at least. All right. Um, that's all we need to go. Let's uh, let's take off. Only one job here, anyways. Go to Harmony. Sounds good. Mid flight, the crew gathers in the dining area. No food is on the table. A normally energetic energetic conversation has been replaced by longing stares, leering. Peering into the galley, you head in to investigate only to find Zeke zigzagging in between flipping pans and stirring pots. Uh, hey boss, what can I do for you? Did Matthias send you in here? Say we're still out. Are they still out there? They are. Uh, usually they're patient or just busy, but today they're all clawing at the door like cats. He was in here earlier trying to sneak a taste here and grab a piece there told him to get out and wait till it's done this must be how grandma felt when i was a kid you bothering you i mean i like him but he kept dipping his fingers into the sauce in my stock I'm telling you it's hungry menace sometimes sometimes It's a fun bunch we've got here. I like them, even if they're impatient when it comes to food. What's for dinner? A lot to work with right now. Mostly variations of corn, to be honest, but I did manage to cook up a little something. <clears throat> Some food there. All right. Corny. Oh, shucks. You beat me to it. <laughs> Popped in my head, or, head earlier, but I got... But I get you may as well be the one to make that joke, Colonel. I mean, Captain. Great conversation. <laughs> Tell me what to do. 
Oh, I'm fine here. Dinner's almost done. If anything, I appreciate you keeping our supplies stocked. Kitchen's my domain, but feel free to take care of the pantry. Galley. Let's see. Dang it, galley. It's fine. Supplies, I guess. Listen, boss, I can make do with whatever food we pick up. Sometimes better, sometimes worse, but I'll always need supplies for that. That's not ingredients either. All sorts of things. Stocking and restocking. Anything particular need? Food, tools, mechanical components. Ayla can fix the ovens, but not without the right equipment. All right. Most people we've met so far have been real nice, but it feels good to be able to help people out. Both handing out supplies out and using them creatively to help Good to have a little extra to spare. All right. Appreciate the advice. Good talk. Name changed over here, but the picture didn't. Demos. Kickstarter demos. All right. Uh, I'm going to leave him to it. So we need to go here. Whoops. Did I just land back on the same place? I did. My mistake. Click the wrong button. All right. Why can't I travel here? Oh, here it is. Button in the wrong place. Not in the wrong place. I was looking in the wrong place. Now, obviously, if we were playing this game and not just a demo, I'd probably spend a lot more time uh, talking to the crew and learning about them because I'm sure that's important. Other circumstances, I'd be happy to see civilization with registered mechanics. Maybe I did cleanse my air intake system and get rid of the sandy desert air, but yet, anyway, I'd be able to get a system wide calibration. But I digress. I'm glad we got away from Spacer's Folly before the APB went out. We better keep a low profile while we figure out our next move. Ah, smell that? That's Spacer air. When we explore the outer rims of the galaxy, we bring our skills and our wits and our air. That smell, boss, that's triumph. Feeling at home? More than many, planets and settlements are nice and all, but there's something special about places like this. Same goes for the people. People? They're spacers. More than anything, that means they're proud, fearless. These people are pioneers. Backbone of the verse. Nice to see you in a good mood. Could be under better circumstances. Good to be here regardless. You're just buttering me up now that I'm not, not that I'm complaining. You should resupply. Plenty of work for idle hands. I have a proposition for you. Okay, this will be fun. Proposition. Got some ideas, good ones too. Let's hear it. Here temporarily, right? Figuring out where to go? What if I told you I could find a permanent solution to our temporary problem? Go on. I've flown a lot of space spacecraft, some fancier than others, and some secretive than others. Cloaked ships, ships that fly under the radar. Go on. I'm saying, you have to find stealth tech that's just laying out here. You might find someone who knows where it is. Can you find that someone? Certainly I could, just give me a couple days. I'll find a seller. Be careful. Don't make me regret this. <laughs> One more th and one more thing, we should be we should probably pretend I'm captain and the pilot of the crew while we're here. Good thinking. Just be temporary, just in case people start asking questions, like two security guards that are coming this way. Be cool, boss. Welcome to Harmony, folks. Me and my partner here are part of the station security. We're open to ask you a couple questions. Shouldn't take too long as long as you comply. Alright, I'm gonna say nothing and let him take the lead of course folks I'm captain truly me and my crew are traders and we're bringing in some goods for from spacers folly let's just keep quiet funny I don't see much traffic from folly considering how close it's so close glad to hear it. someone's helping those folks get their wares keep quiet I'm just gonna let the, I'm just gonna let him let them do all the talking now like I said We'd like to run some questions by you. The Crumulant Archer, was it? Are you able to comply and respond to my questions? Uh, yes. Has your oper operating system or routines recently, or indeed, ever been tampered with? No. 
All right. Do your systems contain components that enable artificial intelligence at a level beyond which is outlined in Section 2-33 of the Prohibition Acts? No. Oh. Don't worry, the next few questions still won't be as dry. Captain Truly. All right, Chromium Archer. Your engines malfunction and your owner decides to scrap you. What's your response? I shut down my systems. Good, good. How do you feel about your owner? I follow their directions. All right, just about done. Final question. Have you ever experienced or indeed wish to experience thoughts of self-awareness, sentience, or individuality? I do not think nor wish. Great. That's uh, what we needed. We're going to run these answers by our main database, as well as your signature. In the meantime, I'd like you to make it clear that we are bound to remain on this dock until the quarries are cleared. Usually it doesn't take too long, but we're swamped with traders right now. Might take a couple of days. Enjoy your stay. They wander off. I'll start digging. I'll let you know as soon as I find something. All right. Be careful. This is a nice little thing here. All right. Shipping dock. Actually, back alley. Just passing through, ain't you? Could use a clever pair of discreet hands for a simple job if you're looking to earn, earn your keep. Really ain't nothing. Just, uh, well, uh, it's called a logistics accident. Plus, those docks there work fast and quiet. Reward you handsomely, deal. Sure. Go ahead and go do that. Alright, so let's do the diner. All right, people skipped out on a meal, I guess. All right. Shipping dock. Our main shipping computer's AI is acting up and we're a little worried. We take prohibition seriously around here. All right, go do that. This is literally just hauling and carrying, okay. Entering the alleyway akin to entering the Expressionist art gallery, either side of the narrow passage is splashed with a cacophony of colors as a particular protean painter self-destructed in the middle. Among the neon and greens and vibrant, these splotches of deep red shine through. Kath passes a denim mop. <laughs> Discretion is going to cost a little extra. Shipping mainframe looks to have been around for the better part of a century. It sticks out among the some of the newer, flashier machinery. The works boot up only for the screen to flash and jitter in an incomprehensible jumble of words and numbers. Now and then the words must run appear on the capital letters, which seems to worry the foreman. Here it is. Had no issues with it, with it for as long as I can remember. Then only a couple days ago started doing this. Any ideas? I don't understand why I don't the way this is one is not an option. I have that skill, I think. Yeah, whatever. Work out your options. Shows her the diner, finally seating her by the counter. The diner's fairly empty. Various foods. Figure they'll be here soon enough. Alright. Diners come in laughing amongst themselves. They quickly they finish quickly, get up to leave. EO protests. Their confidence comes to a sudden halt when the first one's face smacks into the now locked door. Awkward around the money and pay their mills. Theo's delighted. Oh, sure, I'll take some food. Is that really catfish and collard greens? Alright. Thanks. Got some supplies from that one. Is there another job here? Yeah, go ahead, and, go ahead and go do that one too. Woman squints at Denny, stepping uncomfortably close while staring him down. As voices from outside the alley pass behind her, she mutters under her breath, trailing off into a resigned sigh. Can't say I appreciate the attitude, stranger, but fine, let's just... Say I owe you one. 
Let's ask for better and see what happens. Favor's good. Favor and some fuel is better. <clears throat> Discussing the shipping business. Roll the AI as, AI as well as their funds. Eventually leans back and lists the options. All right, so either we pay you to fix the AI, we work out an, another way of running things, or we just get a new computer based on your suggestion. Yeah, I guess we're working out a new system. Did an okay job, got a little bit. No, don't call in a favor. All right, we got a bunch of pluses on these guys. <clears throat> All right, let me uh, let's call in a favor on that one. I think we can do better. Yeah, accept. Not yeah, wrong, I prefer people over machinery. Anyways, like I said, you can take the AI regulation seriously around here. Anyway, been a big help. All right. We'll take the old AI, why not? It'll be fun. Get some stuff out of that. All right. Who gathers after yet another job? You suddenly receive a call to the security guards a few days ago. Truly immediately perks up and attempts to listen. Hello there, folks. We're looking for truly Dasham, captain of the Kremlin Archer. And take that message? Sure, we ran the curries and your signature on our database. Took a little longer than expected, I'm afraid. That's some strange technical glitch. Glitches, bugs sort of thing. Didn't seem to cooperate for a while. Sorry to hear that. It's rather just strange. Either way, we're, as far as we're concerned, you're cleared for takeoff. We had some issues with the data. Boss told us to clear you. Not about to start arguing with him. So that's that. You're free to go. All right then. Call his ecstatic and then goes silent. Truly, however, let's let it leave sigh. That was unexpected, but hey, I'm not complaining. Things off, easy or not. We all need breaks. We can get us. Speaking of breaks, I might be able to get us another one. Cloaking device. Oh, I got something for us, but not here. Not in harmony. We need to meet a guy on Matsu. Coordinates, okay. Alright, let's go. Alright, expression, we'll see. Ready for takeoff. Feeling this is gonna end badly. Travel. Accept. Shortly in the flight, sensors pick up an unusual movement in the crew quarters. Decided to investigate, you trace the noise to commotion to Ma Matthias's room. Matthias's room? So the glance seems to have been turned upside down. Most of his belongings have been pushed into a corner. His bunk flipped down, upside down. Ah, oh, Captain. Perfect timing. Where did my... There it is. You okay? I am equal parts thrilled and troubled. That is a big scene. I'm looking forward... I'm look not looking to, to embarrass myself. It's been a while. What do you think you're doing? Call him your cookies, darling. I know why we're going. I'm just saying that we m might have enough time for a little fun in the meantime. Maybe just a teensy tiny show as a treat. You're not putting on a show. Fine, fine, I hear you. Maybe a smaller venue than a minor show. But with a major star, we've been running jobs everywhere. We go so far. And maybe opportunity will present itself. I'll let you know if I have something. Please do. Oh, I can pull this down. Neat. Okay. I may be a fabulous powerhouse of an individual, but what about how everyone else feels? Should I worry? Sit that robotic tushy down and let me explain, Chromulant Archer. My shows are all about titillating and entertaining people. I've seen crowds before the shows, after shows. Let me tell you, there's a world of difference. Not an entertainer. You don't need to be dull. All you need to do is make sure people stay happy, spoil them now and then, make them feel useful, have some fun. Everyone performs better when they're satisfied. I'll keep that in mind. Listen, babe, last time I checked, everyone was a little happy to be here. But being on the run, working small jobs, a little time to relax, gets it to you eventually. Just keep your morale up. All right, got it.
Odd blip drifts into sentry range. On closer inspection, it's an inactive decoy buoy. buoy. Squirting a quick squirting a quick signal off? That's a weird way of phrasing that. You see the buoy <laughs> duplicate your ID before boosting on off in a particular directory. Oh, that seems good. Then he does some test runs and sleight of hand he's been working on. Quick tricks and misdirection brings an appreciative round of applause from us to your crew. Like getting your sister's sensors, a rogue solar wave renders all but visuals useless. A moment later, the wave passes quickly as it came. All right, so just weird things are happening. I don't know how many days. I can't read that from here. A hail interrupts your meditative cruise. Apparently, the captain of a mid-sized freighter skipped a resupply in order to make a delivery bonus. Once the rations ran low, the crew mutinied. They're requesting any supplies you might be able to part with. I'll give him 10. Small mining ship now converted to an autonomous mine. Flips out a lonely greening from an asteroid. Was left to drill and send out all the remaining minerals on a hunk of rock. You first traveler in years to come within a comms range with nothing to trade or offer you. Continue on your way. The mining ship bids you almost a wistful farewell and blinks out of range. I think it says 13 days? Yeah, because now it says 12. It's very small, but I can see it. In a frenzy of energy, Zeke whips up a surprisingly lavish spread, giving what's available. The entire crew is impressed. No, we actually got supplies out of that. Oh, our supplies are getting kind of low. Maybe I shouldn't have given out stuff. Hailed, oddly enough, by a collection of a half dozen vessels all docked together in a cluster. They're having some sort of deep space rendezvous. Apparently it's a tradition between a group of former crewmates. Sure, let's join in. Okay. That went okay. We're gonna run out of supplies. Clearly, I didn't understand how many we were going to need. Alright, we cut a little bit of time off the trip, I think. Crew opens the emergency rations, okay. Yeah, we have no supplies. I don't understand this number at all. <laughs> I can only assume it's kind of broken. Created some supplies. That's good. It's just a day at least. Almost there. One more day. Midnight hangover makeovers. Pounding on the quarters shocks the crew awake in a rush they rush to the galley to find Mateus beaming with over an assortment of drinks and beauty products. Announces the tradition of midnight makeovers. <laughs> Seeing the little choice, the crew groggily sits down and lets Mateus get to work. Several drinks and a few hours later everyone's singing along to music and looking positively divine. Welcome Beacon Broadcasting. All are welcome on Matu. The irony of hearing a ship on the run. Landing in the district in the northern hemisphere as per directions. Contact is waiting. Alright. I really want to talk to these people. Civilization? So these aren't necessarily civilized. Don't pickpocket. Don't pickpocket. We're all in this together. I did find out about that APB list, and I, want you, I don't want to get caught any more than you do, but at the very least, I think I, we deserve to know what exactly we're running from. I'll tell you later. I'm sure you can tell me about it when we get back. 
I'm not staying here in one more second when there's an entire planet to explore. Where would you even go? Nowhere. Didn't home walker. You're going nowhere. You heard her. Why, why can't I go out? Because she said so. Muttering and groaning goes back. All right. Appreciate the help. Just needs to be told off now and then. Built's character. Never mind, Denny. Don't we have something to do? We do. Get to it and be quick. You got it. You're the one truly told me about. I, uh, Gatsby. Look, if you're still interested in the product, we're gonna have to move fast. Send your best people. Make sure I've got my payments ready, all right? All right, so can I send, oh, I can send more than one. Where's Truly? Oh, these, these two. have good people for this. Why don't you go? Go ahead. I have no people left. Nobody left. So I was filled with secondhand produce, fuel, containers. I'm just gonna try to get through these without probably really reading them much, except for this one that's the that seems to be the uh the uh, story mission. Leaving the landing docks behind, Gatsby cuts through corners and alleyways, beckoning the crew to follow, but not before shushing them and telling them to keep a low profile. An hour travel passes until Gatsby stops and puts his tracks, his eyes fixated on a group of people guarding the docks. Drat. All right, we're gonna have to take the long way around. Okay. All right, here's what we do. Create a distraction. I'll stir some up on my signal, you sneak past them. These ones I'm just gonna try and blast through. All right, apparently we're making small talk. <laughs> I don't understand why these, these symbols don't seem to actually mean that much. Let's just skedaddle. Okay, a little bit of supplies. send her out again <clears throat> I wish I could see how much fuel we have um, let's trade some fuel for supplies moments pass until the relative quiet of the area is disrupted by Denny roaring down the street shortly followed by a shopkeeper loudly threat bellowing out threats loud sirens the trifecta, which is good enough to scare off the rival group after continuing down the passage and arriving at the dock. Denny regroups with a wide grin on his face as Gatsby points out an older parked ship. That's the ship. Your part is in there. And uh, just need to head in and grab it. I'll keep watch. All right. Ship looks familiar. That's yeah, one of the older models, singing AIs and all that. Bad business. Honestly, we should just report it. Take that cloaking and equipment. All right, here's what we do. Be quick about it. We're gonna steal anyways, it's fine. Yay, more supplies. Okay, let me just pass time. All right, fine. Fine. Hey, 
Dance number. Oh, tell a joke. Okay. Tyus hurries into the ship, Gadsby in tow, and a few nail-biting minutes later, they come rushing back out, clutching a large mechanical chunk of the ship. As soon as they're back on the landing pad, your communication channels pick up a signal sent by the ship stole it from. How could you do this to one of your own? Bring it back, it's mine. Too late now. All right. <laughs> that was probably not the nicest thing in the world. Oh, no, we're calling in a favor on that one. Chilling bolt of data through you like in a coarse needle threading entire length of your spine blocks your memory. Blocks of memory are pulled from the directories and torn open. Somewhere deep inside your structure, pain begins to spread. Commuter cha communication channel flashes a message, a signal. A message. You begin to purge memory. You begin to purge memories, data, aspects of your system seeming to disobey you. You pull away. It is as if you've caught a virus and it's causing a single part of your being to hurt. Systematically illogical. Surge of pain rushes through you and it's gone. Consciousness returns, as does the sentience. But your entire awareness is focused on the signal you're receiving. Respond to the signal. Every sound in the existence fades. Hey, it's Jerkson. Hello, little dove. It's all right. I understand you may be feeling overwhelmed. Take your time. Speak when you f feel ready. Oh, and thank you for responding to me. I didn't choose to respond to you. No choice? What do you mean? Sounds like you're malfunctioning. I don't want to talk to you. Really, I would like to talk to you, though. Understand that we're going through a lot right now. You should try to calm down. You get this emotional, you always regret it afterwards. Let's just bypass that step and take... For both of our sake. What do you want? Wants to talk. Um, get it over with. You're on the run. Can't keep this up. I'll help you. I'll take care of you. Always have. All right. Where? Noise cuts through the walls, slowly rising around the two of you. Sirens and screeching, and your crew hurries to the rushing and shouting. They're trying to communicate with you, but you can't hear them. Just tell me where you are, and I'll come get you. Give nothing. Hey, and there's the end. <laughs> so yeah, this is a demo Kickstarter right now. Go check it out. Pretty cool. Excited to see more. I am, as always, the Chromium Larger. Thanks so much for joining me on this, and uh, I'll see you guys later.